can. I'm moving my leg for the forehand. Yes? So you need to be in the... If, if you're like this, Amy, you're not going <laughs> to hit the ball well. Yeah? Yeah? Amy, look at him. We that call this the sugar plum fairy shot. <laughs> yeah? But this, you see how strong I am here? Humble, I'm humble. stable. So when I hit, I can really drive off this back leg. I can really twist my body. I can really move the ball. But this, no. <laughs> Amy. No. Amy, series, okay? So you need to get quickly across the court and you need to be in the set position, ready to hit the ball. Yeah? And your body is sideways onto the ball so that you're hitting through the ball. Okay? I don't think you're warm yet. Some more. Amy, come to me. Now you don't need a tennis court for this. You don't need <laughs> tennis balls. You can do this at home. Yeah? Yeah. Just get used to moving. Amy, look how look. Yeah. All right. Amy. So that's a drill. These are called drills. Things that you can practice. All right. So the ready position with this tennis court, this is here where you want to be. Amy. Yeah. Have six positions. So 30 or telephone. One. You need to remember. I loom. And he no. One. Two, three, so you come back to position two, one, two, three, so we just practice this, the ball comes to three, back to two, the ball comes to one, back to ten, back to two, the ball comes back to one, Back to two. If you stay here, okay, no, after you hit the ball, it's very good. all of this court, your opponent will be looking for the space. They put the ball where you are not. Yes? <laughs> so you, you want to be here because if the ball comes short, it's easy to run forward. But if you're here, it's much more difficult Top. to run back. Game mark. You understand? Ding, ding. It's okay, you stand here. He's very good. Okay. One. One. Three. Three. One. Three. <laughs> Two. Two. Ah, the ball comes yeah, right at you. You have to move out of the way. Yes. When the ball comes at you, you have to move to the side. Am I going to play it as a forehand? Or am I going to play it as a backhand? You want to play forehand? Then you move, need to move from the ready position to the side. That's very efficient, you see. I'm right here, I'm ready, and I'm at the side. I'm going to get my telephone. And I'm at the side. No, it's okay, I'll take you. It's very easy to push off this foot to get this foot behind me. I'm ready. Yeah? I'm not ready. When the ball comes at me. <laughs> yeah? Okay, let's try again. One. One. Three. One. Two. Okay, very good. So now what? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? <laughs> You're at two. One. Three. Four. Four. 
You are too slow, you lost the point. <laughs> She doesn't know how many steps, probably. Okay. So this is another drill you can practice. You don't need tennis balls. It's about moving efficiently across the court mm. into the ready position. Yeah? You move forward. You want to make it home. Yeah? You yeah, can yeah. You can make it home. You can make it home. Yeah. Make it home. All right. Good. <clears throat> All right. Uh, you feeling more warm now? <laughs> no? Okay, I can get you running if you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's talk uh, a little bit about top spin. Do you know what top spin is? Um, no, she Amy. doesn't. You, you Amy, can the shade. That's okay. I don't mind being in the sun. Top spin. Top spin. No. You know? No. no. Tom, okay. he doesn't show so, anything. So let's look at this net here. All right. So we're on this side. We want the ball to go over the net. Now look at me, Emmy. Emmy. If I hit the ball like this, if I hit the ball like this, the ball is just going to go straight and it's going to go out. So we want the ball to go in an arc. Yeah? <laughs> go like that. We want the ball to go over the net and come down again. And the way we do that is by brushing up the back of the ball. Yeah? Yeah? So the racket face is, we call it open. Yeah? You're brushing up the back of the ball. Yeah? We're not hitting, we're not just hitting like this, we're brushing up the back of the ball. What that does is it generates top spin. The ball will, the ball will go over the net and then it'll drop down. Okay? So this is why we have the wall here. Do you have the ball? Yeah. Amy, the ball. Actually, you only need one. Yeah. But you need a ball, boy. You're going to be ball boy? Yeah. Because uh, you need to stand over here. <laughs> because the ball will... Uh... Never. All right. Okay. So, Amy, what I want you to do is I want you to hit the ball against the wall. And you're aiming for somewhere like here. You don't want to aim for here. Because if you miss a little bit, you're going to hit the net. So, this spot here. That's your target. All right? Your idea is to, is to use a little bit of top spin, yeah? The wall is a great way to practice. And the reason is you're gonna hit more balls because the distance from here to here and back is a lot shorter than from here to the back of the court and back. You're gonna hit four times as many balls. 15 minutes on a wall is like an hour on a full size court. People don't like the wall, but once you get good at it, <laughs> you can... Look, that alone. man, he alone with the wall. Huh? Sorry? No, I thought about that. That one also with the wall. <laughs> he do the wall. Yeah. No, hitting against the wall is very good. Paul right. is excellent. Yeah. Do you know golf players? They go to the driving range. Do you play golf? No. 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 People who play golf, they go to the driving range and they hit hundreds and hundreds of balls. They do that to practice their swing. And tennis players do the same on a wall. Yeah? So, nice and gently, hitting up the back of the ball, right? And you're aiming for my sweaty hand mark here. <laughs> okay, drop the ball. Okay, probably hit it too hard. Amy. Where's the ball boy? <laughs> round, round. Okay. Wing, wing. 